Hey gang, my name is Mr. Phil and today I'm going to talk to you about my system of hair health and hair repair services. It's no secret that I'm really big into hair health and a lot of times when I post something on social media about hair health, people ask, what does that entail? And today we're going to talk a bit about what it is that you get from my hair health and hair repair treatment plans. And it all starts with a really thorough and in-depth consultation at the salon, where I take a look at the five different pieces of how we can come up with a good plan for your hair repair or hair health maintenance. Here they are, folks. These are the five components of what I look for in my conversation with you about your hair health. Number one, during your consultation, I want to look at what your symptoms are with your current hair plan. Number two, I want to look at what your shampoo and conditioning schedule at home is like. Number three, what products you use. Number four, you tell me a little bit about your lifestyle. And five, you're going to tell me about the salon service schedule that you normally use. So number one, that's a pretty big one, is what are the symptoms? I think this is the most important piece to determine your treatment plan. Is your hair overly dry and frizzy? Is it prone to split ends or breakage? Is your scalp tight or oily? Do you feel like your hair isn't as stylable as it used to be? Do your combs and brushes no longer produce a smooth shine to your hair? These are all conditions and symptoms, and there are many more, that people commonly will bring up in their first visit with me. And I always take a look at the condition of your hair and perform a visual inspection of what I find. And then we talk about number two. What is your shampoo and conditioning regimen at home? How often are you using shampoo and conditioner? And is there some place that we can change or modify your schedule at home to begin promoting better hair health? Number three is a big one, it's products. And we all know that nowadays there are millions of countless products out there that you can use for shampoo, conditioning, styling, grooming. And some of them now are um, bragging about frizz and dry hair and flyaway repair. So there is an endless supply of products available to you at the stores. So whether it's at your drugstore or your grocery store, you're inundated with products. But that doesn't always mean that they are the right products for your hair type, texture, or symptoms. So lifestyle is number four on my list of bullet points to cover in your consultation. And with your lifestyle, for instance, someone that works outdoors in the sun, the heat, and dust and debris is gonna have a very different hair condition than someone who works in an office. Number five, I want to take a look at what salon services you normally purchase and how often you go back. So for instance, how often do you go for regular haircuts or trims? Has your stylist ever suggested to you to sit for a deep conditioning treatment? Or has your barber ever suggested that you come in for a scalp treatment? These are the five key components of planning your hair health hair repair treatment plan. The damage done to your hair wasn't performed overnight and it won't be fixed overnight. But the great news is that the ongoing treatment plan that you and I come up with is based on your five key components of your consultation. And the more often you come in for a service, the quicker and more impressive the results are gonna be. Now, let's talk about how each session can go. There are many different variables on how we can combine the different pieces of a hair health and hair repair service to you. But the main ingredients are starting out with a clean canvas. And so by that we'll do a protein enriched shampoo wash, followed by a protein enriched conditioning. And from there we can begin specializing to your needs. What does a protein enriched shampoo and conditioner do for you? What it does is it helps, well first, cleanse the hair of any damaging products that might be deposited in the hair. And two, it goes 
a little deeper than a conventional shampoo because the protein is then going to deposit into your hair and begin strengthening it from the inside out. So simply right there, a regular shampoo and wash condition with me is using these advanced shampoo products. Even that on a regular basis is going to do more for you than um, the store-bought shampoos at home. Whether you're coming in for a protein wash and condition, or you're going through a more in-depth session that requires a hair mask and other serums, each and every single session requires some sort of thermal sealing to get that product locked into your hair. And so there's a plan for, for everybody, whether you have long hair or you might have more of a barber's cut with a high fade and a pompadour. Every single treatment that I offer is customizable to your hair's length, texture, and damage level. So it's not like you even have to come into me with a certain level of hair damage. Because after all, we're not just repairing hair health, we're preventing further damage and keeping the hair healthy on an ongoing basis. Okay, so now I'm gonna bring in Sarah. You're going to see the before and after photos of her hair repair. And I tell you this much, this is going to be one of my proudest moments because yes, it is the same person in all of these photos. Despite what you may think, there have been no Photoshop or other camera tricks to convince you otherwise. These are all photos and videos straight from the chair or as you see it here, untouched video because this is as we shot it. My name is Sarah. I am a 35 year old mother of two boys. I think the most significant damage I did to my hair was the bleaching. It was just over processed. I didn't trust my hair to anybody. After the damage that was done by the girl that I worked with, plus the salon completely butchering my hair without my knowledge because he turned me away from the mirror. I couldn't even see what he was doing. After the processing that I had done to my hair in August, I swore off salons and they ended up not doing what we had discussed on my hair and it went from being what should have been shoulder length to a very short bob which literally broke my heart because my hair was almost down to my butt at that point point. and I found Phil on Facebook he was a mutual friend of a couple of friends of mine and I knew about him as far as his photography aspect. And it wasn't until I sent him a friend's request and started chatting with him while I was living in Florida that I found out he was also a hairstylist. And the more I talked to him about what had gone wrong with my hair, the more he told me what he could do to attempt to bring it back to life. And the knowledge that he had behind what he was saying, when I moved back up to Connecticut, I figured, why not give it a shot? Um, January 8th was the first time I drove down to Milford to see Phil and it was basically more of a color consult um, and a brief haircut to see what was going on with my hair and he's the first that I have ever seen that actually took the time to do a color consult to see how damaged my hair was before we even colored it to see if it could even hold the color and I didn't realize how bad my hair was until he took a photo of the back of my head because obviously you can never see the back of your head. And I realized my hair was horrible. The initial plan on January 8th was to cut off as much as we needed to try to rid the dead and split ends that I had. Um, at that point, we were going to attempt to do some deep conditioning treatments on it to see if we can bring any part of life back to my hair. And the time frame that I was given was anywhere between six months to a year before we would even see my hair anywhere near what it was when I was younger. And it's been 12 weeks. And the change of my hair, if it didn't happen to me and I just saw the photos, I wouldn't think it was real. As far as the shape of my hair is now, um, I don't remember a time where I have ever been able to style my hair and have it fall the way I wanted it to and actually hold all day. Um, this isn't the old school deep conditioning that you would get many years ago when you went to a salon. 
um, the products that Phil uses in my hair on a weekly basis. They're all protein enriched. The deep conditioning that he does also is protein enriched, but it locks a lot of the moisture in your hair that you would normally lose on a daily basis by washing your hair with normal shampoo and conditioners. Um, some of my favorite products that we use on a weekly basis is definitely the deep conditioner. So the one that we're using now definitely has a huge improvement. And I also love the smoothing serum because it does tame a lot of my flyaways that I have on a daily basis and it helps control the frizz. Um, I've been having a lot of people ask me lately on Facebook and asking Phil as far as why is she down there every single week. And it's not just me going down and having my hair cut every single week or having it styled every single week. There's a lot more work that goes into it. He does the deep conditioning. He does the blowouts. He does the serums that lock in the protein and the moisture that my hair normally wouldn't have. I do continue what he does on a daily basis at home with the protein and rich shampoo and conditioner. But I believe if it wasn't for me going down to see him every week that I wouldn't be able to keep up with my hair the way I do because on a weekly basis I spend um, $40 to see Phil and that is for the deep conditioning, the hairstyling, the blowout. I know a lot of other salons that start you at $100, $125 for those same services and then they just go up from there. A normal session with Phil usually starts with um, me waking up in the morning. I won't wash or condition or even wet my hair before I come to see him. He likes to start with a clean slate and the whole process takes roughly about an hour and he'll start with the shampoo and conditioner, the protein rich shampoo and conditioner that he uses at the shampoo bowl. And then from there, he'll go into the revitalizing deep conditioning. Um, and from that, I usually sit under the hair dryer for about 20 minutes just to really lock the deep conditioning treatment into my hair. And after that, we go back to the shampoo bowl, rinse that out, and then we start with the smoothing serums and the protein serums that lock in the moisture and protein in my hair. And from there, we go into styling it different ways, which my hair never used to be able to do before. I, I've watched him in the past couple of sessions actually take my hair and twist it and almost tie it in a knot on the top of my head, which back in January, if he even attempted that, it would all break off in his hand in a giant clump. If anybody has any questions or concerns, they're on the fence about getting their hair colored. They're on the fence about whether or not they need any kind of hair health because they don't believe that their hair is in bad shape. Um, I would suggest to go ahead and message me on Facebook. I mean, like I told Phil, if it wasn't for the fact that this was literally happening to me and I saw the photos that were taking of my hair back on January 8th and you put them side by side to my hair right now, I would instantly think it was a trick of the camera and that this didn't really happen. But I can't say that because it did really happen and it is my hair and to look at my hair three months ago to now, it's it's like a whole new head of hair. Every product I use is 100% hair safe. It's all based on the principle of maintaining hair health. And even my restoration products work in a very neat way where they never dry out or blend out your color. Now that's really important because that guarantees that every time you come in, the products that we use for your treatments maintain your color. Because if we do colored hair, whether it's a natural blended tone or a fashion color, we want your hair health and hair repair treatment plan to continue consistently despite your color schedule. All the products I use are 100% cruelty free and everything I use, whether it's going to be a curling iron, flat iron or blow dryer, the heat and temperature scale is matched to your hair type, texture, and length. So take a look at a hair health or hair repair treatment plan consult with me and let's come up with something great. Because as you saw in Sarah's portion of the video, changes can happen, hair can be rebuilt, hair can be re-strengthened, and the overall movement of hair can be restored by taking a few simple steps to your new hair so thank you guys for watching thank you sarah so much for coming in and being part of this production and most of all thank you sarah for trusting me in these 12 weeks to rebuild and rebond your hair 
But most of all, thank you for the next 12 weeks and those 12 weeks after that of your hair health. As always, guys, thank you for all your support. This is Mr. Phil signing off.